Hi, I'm Elena. I work for ACTED. I'm the chair of the CCCM uh, Capacity Development Working Group of the CCM Global Cluster. And I'm here with Jason and Patient from REDS. Hi, my name is Jason Bell. I uh, am the Durable Solutions Manager for the REDS uh, Ethiopia Country Unit. And I'm um, Patience Kiara, I'm the Red Kenya Durable Solutions Manager, but also covering at the regional level on research and capacity development. So we are here to talk about uh, the training on uh, area-based uh, durable solution planning that Red has just published. Uh, so the first question is uh, for Patience, why Red has decided to create this training package and what are the training uh, objectives? Thank you so much, um, Elena. And uh, indeed, uh, durable solutions continue to be quite high on the agenda for national and international actors. And we know that the, at the core of the CRRF is really to be able to create self-reliance and uh, social economic inclusion for uh, refugees, but at the same time also ease uh, pressure on the housing communities. But what we see uh, very much still is a focus on population-based response. So REDS uh, saw this together with its members and partners that there is a real gap to, uh, and a need to strengthen the capacity of um, uh, practitioners and policy makers to move away from population-based or status-based response to a more comprehensive um, area-based response. So one that looks at uh, both the displacement uh, uh, population, displaced populations as well as their hosting uh, communities. So what we have done is to develop together with partners um, and a number of them, which I will be mentioning a bit later. And what we uh, did is to develop this training package that we have uh, rolled out currently in Jidiga. And the whole objective is really to be able to uh, uh, explain or expound and unpack the added value of area-based approaches to plan for durable solutions and enhance social cohesion in displacement context. So the basic uh, principle is really to uh, highlight the elements and principles and link them to durable solutions planning cycles. So to be able to support um, uh, inclusion of displacement affected communities within local and national development plans. So in terms of the content of the training, we have really focused quite a lot on social cohesion and community engagement, as well as government engagement. And we acknowledge that for us to remain true to an area-based approach or an area-based uh, sort of plan, we need to be able to have uh, a multi-sectoral and multi-stakeholder approach that um, takes into consideration the fact that not one actor can address all the needs within one particular area. So it's really critical to be able to agree on collective outcomes uh, based on an area-based approach. Uh, um. Perfect, thank you. And so Rats piloted the, the training in, uh, in Jijiga in March. So Jason, what were the main challenges that you faced during the pilot and uh, what were the main lessons? Sure. Um, yes, as you said, we, we piloted the training uh, materials in Jijiga in early March uh, with a group of approximately 30 um, actors uh, in Jijiga, which is the capital of the Somali regional state of Ethiopia. Um, and the participants, we, we really tried to um, target a, a broad cross-section of actors from, uh, from government agencies, UN agencies, um, local and international NGOs, uh, and research and academia, so that we had sort of a, a broad cross-section of both uh, policymakers and practitioners. Um, among the kind of challenges of the training, there was there was certainly some logistical challenges that we faced during the pilot workshop because of the timing. Uh, it was held in early March, just as uh, the impact of the COVID nineteen pandemic was was um, was sort of reaching all of us. Um, so that was certainly a logistical challenge for us to to um, to try to work with. Uh, but beyond that, because I think the concept of area based approaches are still quite new within the the context in in Jijiga, um, it took a significant time for participants to really understand some of the key definitions related to area-based approaches and planning, um, also related to durable solutions uh, definitions, which were really essential to be able to, um, to highlight and, and focus on before moving on to more kind of planning and forward-looking aspects of the training. So those were maybe some of the challenges that we saw um, or that we faced in the, the context of the pilot workshop. Um, 
maybe more on, on some of the learning that we found. Um, we were really able to, to gain quite a bit through the pilot workshop. Um, because this was the first time that we were using the training tools, we actually asked participants to provide feedback and evaluations after each of the eight sessions of the training, uh, as opposed to doing sort of a pre and post um, evaluation from, from participants. So this feedback uh, was used to develop an outcomes report for the pilot workshop. Um, and we also had a did a four month post uh, workshop follow up with participants to try to measure long term impact uh, in learning. Um, in terms of what we learned from that, um, the evaluations showed that participants found the training tools to be extremely useful and relevant to their work. Um, there were some minor changes that we made to the training tools based on some of the feedback provided uh, by the participants, such as kind of really trying to, to keep um, a good balance between focus on refugee and IDP issues, because in the, the context of Jijiga, there are, there are both uh, significant populations of refugees and IDPs. Um, and then also the, the feedback, um, I think one of the main recommendations that we received was that the training uh, would really be useful in being carried out with stakeholders at the Wareda level within the Ethiopian context, which is kind of the district equivalent for other areas. Um, because that's actually where planning processes begin. Um, and so there was a real strong recommendation from participants that this training would be most useful at a very local level where um, planning processes and area-based planning actually starts um, and takes place. So that was some of the learning that we took from, from the workshop overall um, that we used to inform not only the, the finalization of the training tools themselves, but then also to try to inform our planning for next steps in, in terms of rolling out the training. Perfect. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you.